Hello and welcome back to the Kitchen Club. Today we are going to speak about some of the best homemade cleaners specifically focusing on five major problem areas in the kitchen and their best homemade solutions or the cleaners. The best part is all the ingredients used for these homemade solutions are easily available at home and are very budget friendly. So no need to spend too much money on the expensive cleaning sprays and solutions or gels but we can simply use the ingredients available at home and clean the major problems in the kitchen. So uh, let's start with the very first one. This is how my cooktop looks after a heavy day of cooking. I'm really sorry for showing this gross image but this is how it is and as you can tell I had spilled some milk on my cooktop and since this is a glass cooktop, it heats up the whole surface and the spilt milk or the food keeps baking in it and it becomes so hard that it is very hard to remove later on. So the easiest way to remove this is to use baking soda. Just sprinkle baking soda throughout the major affected areas and I like to sprinkle it throughout my glass cooktop. And then I will prepare a solution by adding few drops of dishwashing liquid and about one cup of water in a spray bottle like this and then shaking it well so that the solution mixes and foams up. Spray this solution throughout to cover the whole area and let this sit for about 15 to 20 minutes. In between, if you see that the baking soda and the solution is drying up, you can again spray some soap water solution on this and leave it again. And after about 20 minutes, you can see that the gunk or the dirt has dissolved and it has mixed with the baking soda. So now you can use a non-scratch scrub or a soft brush like this and easily slide away the baking soda along with the gunk. It doesn't require too much effort and not even too much of scrubbing. You can with a very light hand scrub the whole thing out. Just spray some more soap water on it just to make sure that it easily slides off and use the soft brush without scratching the glass surface and take everything off. Spray more soap water as and when required. So now as you can see all the gunk and the dirt has come off very easily. With a damp cloth it's time to wipe everything clean now. And if you feel there is some baking soda or the soap solution left on your glass cooktop just spray some normal water and then clean the whole surface with a microfiber cloth. So that's the end result and you can see that your glass cooktop is sparkling clean now and that too without any elbow grease. Now moving on to the next one. Greasy kitchen countertops is one of the major problems of Indian kitchen especially if you are making deep fried stuffs like puris or bhajis or things like that. So the easiest way to remove the grease is to sprinkle some atta or wheat flour on the kitchen countertop and let it sit there for around 5 minutes. Be assured that the atta or the wheat flour would take away or suck away all the grease from your platform or the kitchen countertop. After 5 minutes, just clean all the atta or the wheat flour from the platform and you will see that you are only left with a very dry and non-greasy kitchen countertop. Now just spray the dishwashing liquid plus water solution that we prepared some time back on the whole of the countertop and clean it with a microfiber cloth. And that's it, you are left with non-greasy sparkling kitchen countertop again. So now that brings us to our third main problem. Just like the kitchen countertop, the side walls just next to the cooktop also gets really very greasy in Indian kitchen. So uh, there is a very easy way to keep this area clean and neat. Use vinegar plus water solution. One part vinegar and four parts water. If you do not like the vinegar smell, you can use few drops of your favorite essential oil. I'm using lavender oil here, just 10 drops of it, shake it well and just spray this solution on the walls after every cooking routine. And do this religiously every time, at least once a day. If you totally want to avoid vinegar, you can also use the dishwashing liquid plus water solution here. 
but do it every day and see the difference. That brings us to the next one, the sink. The sink can get really dirty sometimes, so it is very important to follow an everyday routine for this as well. So uh, the dishwashing liquid plus water solution again works really well as a everyday routine cleaner. So you can use this maybe twice or even once a day is just fine. Along with this at least once a week it is a good idea to use a deodorizer just to make sure the sink is fresh and smelling good at all times. You can use baking soda plus vinegar here to deodorize your sink or more easily available salt, table salt plus lemon to deodorize your sink. Gently brush it off and rinse with running water. If the sink is too stinky, you can leave the salt plus lemon solution overnight and clean the sink the next day morning. That brings us to the last one, that is how to keep the glass and the stainless steel surfaces in the kitchen neat and clean and sparkly. Like the exteriors of the oven or the dishwasher. Just add one or two drops of glycerin to the dishwashing liquid plus water solution or the vinegar plus water solution cleaners that we just saw and use it to clean the glass or the stainless steel surfaces or alternatively you can also use a toothpaste not the gel kind of toothpaste but the normal white ones without any flavors in it so just squeeze the toothpaste here and there and then spray some water and slightly, very gently brush with a non-scratch brush or a scrub. And then just clean it with a damp cloth and you will see that you will be left with sparkling clean glass or the stainless steel surfaces. So those were some of the DIY cleaners that can make your kitchen cleaning routine a bit more easier. You can make all these sprays and store it in a spray bottle and keep them handy in your kitchen and use them for around three to four months. So that's all for today friends. If you like these ideas and the video, do not forget to give it a big thumbs up, share it with your friends and family and follow the Kitchen Club in Facebook and Instagram. We will see you next time in the next one. Till then, take care.